What's up, gamers? Dreamcast Guy here, and today we're talking about PlayStation because Sony has just taken the first secret steps to stopping production of all physical games. There is about to be nothing printed on a disc. No new CDs, no new music, no new Blu-ray movies, and of course, no PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 games actually coming on real physical boxes anymore and the death of physical media. This all-digital future, it's bizarre that it's finally here, but let's discuss. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's see if we can get this video to like 2,000 likes to sort of show our support. I, I feel like there's this weird part of the internet where People are still buying games, people are still like actually supporting the art and experiences they enjoy, but the amount of sales for physical games is clearly going down. The people that are actually pre-ordering stuff, playing stuff, buying microtransactions, or just spending hundreds of dollars on V-Bucks, a huge chunk of the gaming industry is definitely going all digital. And it sucks to see that because clearly Sony sees the trend. So as of about 30 minutes ago, this just came out. People are incredibly pissed. Sony is firing 250 people from its recordable media business, which essentially means the people that actually make the discs, that print stuff. And I understand the fact that this is an expensive endeavor. They're trying to gradually cease production of optical disc storage media products, including Blu-rays, according to sources. Now, what this means is that Sony realized that it is a pricey thing to have actual warehouses, truck drivers that are shipping, you know, huge chunks of hundreds of DVD discs to the stores to sell you a copy of, you know, Spider-Man on PlayStation 5. That is an extra cost that Sony and Xbox have been trying to find a way to dodge. They've definitely been trying to go more and more digital. That's why you're seeing the all-digital PlayStation 5. There's multiple now all-digital Xboxes, but it's still bizarre to see this day is really arriving because I do personally love I'm buying games. It's still cool to me to have a real box because I like the idea that I can actually lend you a game. I have a very big PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 collection, and I've always appreciated the fact that, like, when I was a kid, because I was just so broke, each kid in the neighborhood had, like, two games, and we'd all swap. So if you had 20 friends, you had a library of 40 playable games, and I know that some people down here in the comment section are going to basically say, you own nothing and you'll like it. And I see this sentiment a lot because it is technically what these companies want. If you actually open up the disc, if you actually look at the fine print on anything you've purchased, you don't really actually own it. Like, it's very bizarre, but it actually says on every single PlayStation or Xbox game or anything, it says, hey, Sony owns this disc. They own the data. They own everything. You're simply allowed to play it. But even if that is the case, technically, I feel like there is still this physical ownership to the fact that you cannot take it back. Like, I can play this copy of God of War as many times as I want. I can sell it on eBay. I can customize the box. I can do whatever I want with it technically forever, as long as I have a PlayStation 4 that's able to play it. But these companies have clearly been pushing for the idea of making it so that you only own stuff as long as they allow it stupid decision. I literally hate using limited run for buying physical games. This sentiment I see constantly because I, I appreciate limited run for taking games that have no physical version and making a copy of the game, but limited run is very slow. They are very ineffective. If you've ever actually bought stuff, there are times where you can pre-order a game on limited run and it takes over a year to come out. Like it takes over a year for them to physically ship it to you. So pretty much every time ever that I've bought a limited run game, I buy a digital version of it and then limited run pre-order it. And then I get the physical disc way after I finished it. So no matter what, they're getting double the sales. It, it's bizarre to me that we're definitely coming to the spot where collecting physical media is becoming a lost art. The idea of actually being able to just access the stuff you enjoy at any time, the ability to have not just like a wall of games, the ability to go back and play stuff is becoming increasingly archaic. And I feel like 
This is just so bizarre to me to see this change coming. I do see some people cheering this on. Uh, Kareem here, he's like a big Xbox fanboy. He is a big champion for Xbox Game Pass, and he likes the idea that... I, I have seen some people say that when physical media finally dies, we'll see a new revolution of price points. Now, I want to explain what this means and why I disagree with it, but the current sentiment is that the idea of $70 games exists because there is this physical thing to it, that if you're selling a physical item, that means you got to be able to ship it to Walmart. Walmart's going to take a cut. That means if you're selling it, you want to make it a point to sell it for as high as possible so that people will buy it and you get as much as possible even after paying the guy who's packing the box and shipping the case and printing the disc. you got to make that money back. But the idea is that if games go fully all digital, that means they're able to do stuff cheaper up front. You can have different styles of price point. Instead of every game being 60 bucks or 70 bucks, we'll see more stuff that's $25 or $32 and stuff like that, because it doesn't necessarily just come down to, okay, how many people got to get paid out before I can start breaking even on my investment? My problem is that I just don't believe this is going to happen. Like a lot of the executives at the top, a lot of these game companies, they're not even really gamers. You know, they're people that don't really understand even when their games are coming out or, or what they're all about. They're kind of just seeing it as like investments and pocketbooks and ROI and stuff like that. My fear is the fact that when physical games go away, I'm afraid this stuff's going to stay full price forever. Like, or stay full price for years and years and years into the future. My, my terror is the idea that, like, games typically get cheaper to combat the resale market of, like, okay, if, if people are selling it for $40 on eBay, if we sell it for $40, then they'll keep buying it from us instead of going to the used market. My fear is that stuff is all digital. There's nobody to compete with. You can keep every game at 80 bucks forever, and what are you going to do? It's either buy it or don't buy it. It's not like you have any other competition. God, look at this. Are we going to talk about Sony laying people off, or is this only something we talk about when Microsoft does it? I mean, yes, Microsoft definitely fires a lot of people. A lot of people discuss the fact that Microsoft has done multiple rounds of major layoffs, but this feels something separate. This feels super weird because to me, uh, they're outsourcing physical discs. Okay, this person clearly doesn't really fully understand it. Jobs lost are always bad, but this isn't the doom of physical media. Um, I disagree with this person. More stores are actually removing physical games. Uh, Best Buy no longer sells physical games. Their sections are completely empty. I think there's a rumor that the uh, European store game is thinking about stopping selling physical games, which is still just so bizarre. This is good to be back with the Xbox store closing. God, yeah, that's right. The Xbox store is also closing. I want to make a video about this separately because honestly, it's super weird to think about the idea of the Xbox store completely shutting down here in one month. But I think part of my fear about this is the games that are going to go away in an all digital future. Like right now, uh, Forza Horizon 4 is on Xbox Game Pass. They're about to just delete this out of existence. It's just going to be gone. It sounds like if you have a physical disc, it will still work. But if you've only ever played Forza 4 on Xbox Game Pass, it's pretty much just being completely eradicated. <sighs> what is causing this? I think it's two separate things at once. I think right up front, obviously, people are buying digital more than ever. I think the lockdowns, the pandemic, a lot of people definitely got in the habit of buying games because it is so easy, admittedly, to just buy something digitally and immediately start playing it. But I almost think there's a second part of it, which is the fact that I do think these companies don't want you to actually have infinite access to their games. I think they like the idea that if there's a PlayStation 6, they could just not put a disk drive on it and even if you have a massive PlayStation 4 collection, you would have to buy every PS4 game you want to play. You have to buy it digitally to play it on your PlayStation 6. And, and to me, it is just weird to think that we've gotten to this point. The fact that companies are willing to, I mean, they're willing to just completely crap on their oldest fans, the people that have been supporting them the longest, because there really isn't a way to compete. Like, I mean, are people really going to keep a PlayStation 5 forever? Are people going to keep a PlayStation 4? 
I like the PlayStation 3. I still have a physical PS3, but it is weird that if I want to play PlayStation 3 games, I have to have these generations of consoles that are slowly going to become more inactive. Like, it is weird to think that as these stores get shut down, as the physical discs become more irrelevant, as the systems themselves, even the consoles themselves, break down more often, not only are we seeing the death of physical media, I feel like we're seeing the death of the complete march of time. It's weird to think that we're seeing the death of old school games. And to me, that does suck. As a kid who grew up completely obsessed with Final Fantasy and stuff like that, you can see this is my original broke-ass, scuffed-up, completely jank copy of the game itself. This is a relic that will last forever. I can still buy an original PlayStation with the original wires and pop these physical discs in with a current memory card and just play the entire game start to finish. And I think companies, in a way, feel threatened by that because this doesn't give any money to Square Enix. It doesn't give any money to Sony or Microsoft or Nintendo. It's this completely separate retro demographic. It's something that they can't touch. But if they find a way to invalidate current PlayStation 5 stuff, if they stop printing discs, you're kind of stuck playing their game forever. You have to abide by their rules, even if it's more expensive or a lot of times crappier. But these have just been some off-the-cuff thoughts. I've spoken out. I don't like the all-digital future. The fact that it sounds like the next generation of Xboxes will not have any sort of disk drive. I think the PlayStation, they haven't said anything yet. But whenever we see the PlayStation 6, I don't think it's going to have any sort of physical drive whatsoever. And that, to me, is bizarro. But what do you guys think? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you could, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And please keep dreaming. No good, no good. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.